By the time she was four, Lia Selbo had learned to ride. By 11, she could hit a ball with a polo mallet on horseback. Now 29, she is considered to be the best polo player in Argentina and is defying the limits of a sport dominated by men. Salvo spent a decade playing in Britain and the United States, the top countries in the world for women's polo. And she wants to make Argentina a force in the women's game too. We don't have the best women's polo in the world. We have the best men's by far, but without a doubt, women's polo is not the best in the world. And I don't understand why if the men are by far number one, we aren't number one. Salvo is the first woman to participate in the prestigious Jockey Club Open Tournament in Buenos Aires, winning the competition as part of a team alongside the world's top male player, Adolfo Camieso. I have no doubt that in the next three or four years we will compete with the United States and England as equals, no doubt. Horse riding is anchored in Argentine culture and history, with its expert South American cowboys known as gauchos. And now that the women have gripped their mallets, even their strong rivals, England and the United States, are beginning to fear them. And, you know, back in the day, England produced some very strong ladies players. But I know, I can see now that the, the men are really putting interest into the, into the young girls growing up here, giving them the opportunity, making them play good polo on good grounds on amazing horses. So I think in the future there's going to be some absolute stars. I'm actually quite worried about it. <laughs> Yet in Argentina, the native home of the world's top five players, there were only 460 women players registered in the country, just a tenth of the number of men in the game.